Welcome to Google Earth. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a tour and it's super simple. All you need is a folder and a few places to go. And you're all set. So let's start with that folder. On the left hand side under places, select my places. Then right click or secondary click to add folder. Now you can name your folder after your tour or you can name it whatever you like. I prefer to name it after what my tour is going to be about. You can add a description, a link, a web image using a link, or a local image from your device. I already have a folder named Holy Site, so we're going to use that. Now you'll see that I have a few locations already in my folder, but how did they get there? Pretty simple. The first thing you want to do is search for the location you'd like to add to your tour. So let's search for the Mahabodhi Temple in India. Once you click search, Google Earth is going to zoom to your location. And what you'll want to do is make sure your folder is selected, then right click or secondary click and add placemark. Similar to a folder, you can name your placemark. We're going to name this after the location. You can add a description. You can add a link, a web image, or a local image from your device. I'm going to add an image I got from Wikipedia. Now you'll see that there's a tag here for image. You'll also want to make sure you properly cite your image. I got this from Wikipedia and they give you the exact words you need. So if the image is below your description here, then it's going to show up below your description. So keep that in mind. Okay. And there it is. There's our description, the name of our placemark, the image itself, and the citation. Now also good to know is when you're looking at the placemark, you'll notice there's a yellow fish pin. Well, you can change that by right clicking or secondary clicking. Go down to get info and click on the icon there. You can change your icons to a different color push pin, to a different icon all together. You can even add custom icons of images on your device and use those. Now before we get to the tour, you want to make sure you go to preferences and go to touring. There's a lot of different features that you can customize under preferences, but the three I will focus on are the time between your features or your placemarks, how long to wait at each feature or placemark, and whether or not to show a balloon when waiting at a feature. So if you want there to be more time in between each stop on your tour, then you would increase the time between features. You can either increase it manually there or you can use the slide rule here. And then how long do you want to actually stand at or hover over your location? So right now we have it at three seconds. Let's make that four. And again, you can either enter it in manually or use the slide here. But be sure to click apply if you make any changes and then click OK. So how do you view your tool? That's simple too. Click on your folder and a play tour button will appear. And starting from the top of your list of locations, it will zoom around the earth showing each location. And if you've selected the preference to show the balloon, at every location a balloon will pop up with the description and any images that you've included. If you'd like to record your tour to a video, you can use QuickTime on Mac and do a screen recording or if you're on Windows 10, you can use the game bar. There's a lot of information on screen recording and how to's that you can Google as well for tutorials and tips, but those are my go-to's for those particular devices. Otherwise, you're all set. So go out there, zoom around the world, and have some fun.